We cannot see it or measure it, and it's one of the enduring mysteries of space. What lies outside of the observable universe? But before we can make any assumptions, what exactly is the observable universe? While it's the area that can be measured by us, the area outside this cannot, as light has not had enough time to reach our planet. But this is not to be confused with the fact that we are not advanced enough to see past this point. It's simply that light, from the moment the universe was somehow created, depending on who you ask, has travelled. This has been measured at 13.7 billion light years in distance, hence the reason people theorised the universe was created that long ago, as the light that we can measure that has reached Earth has travelled for 13.7 billion years. Now many believe there is light outside of what we can observe, that simply hasn't had enough time to travel to this planet yet. But since this is speculation, and astronomers have not yet detected any sort of border or boundary that show the end of the universe or how big it could be, what lies beyond this point? Well that is the question. Here are five mind-blowing assumptions on what lies beyond the observable universe. Sit back and enjoy. The same thing. So, since astronomers have not detected anything to suggest the universe has an endpoint that takes a step into something else, then what if the outside of the observable universe is just the same as what's inside? Stars, galaxies, Milky Ways, everything that makes up what we know as space, which is still confusing, is just the same forever and never ends. Although this thought may sound boring, astronomers say this theory opens up the possibility of there being planets and stars similar to ours that we just cannot see at the moment. Because if the universe is an infinite expanse of the same thing, then it's entirely plausible that there is another planet similar to Earth that can sustain life. This is because you are eventually going to have another life form. Cosmologists take it a step further by saying there could be every single possible scenario in existence taking place, since there is no way it couldn't happen if the universe had no end. Basically, particles can only be put together in so many ways before they have to start repeating. Now this is hard to visualise, but basically imagine that every possible scenario on Earth is taking place billions and billions of times. It's kind of similar to the parallel universe theory, which I'll be talking about later, but basically means instead of sections or layers of the universe, there is one that never ends and contains an infinite amount of solar systems. There is a theory that throws a damper on this though, some believe the universe is not expanding into anything or revealing more of itself, but is a giant loop that is simply growing in size like a balloon. But so far, since astronomers believe the observable universe is flat, unless it's so big that we can't even detect a curvature, the thought of it not expanding into anything and just increasing in size many say doesn't add up. And even if this was the case, then what exactly would it be expanding into? Some also believe that if the space outside the observable universe is just an infinite expanse of what we already see, then maybe that's where alien life lives, and is so much more advanced than us that they can travel back and forth between the observable universe line. Some say this could be a possibility, although a hard one to believe, but the fact the universe is expanding into something that we do not know what, makes any theory, no matter how silly it may sound, entirely possible. A giant black hole. This is an interesting one. Does our universe exist inside a black hole? It's believed by astronomers that one theory on how the universe came into existence is that it began just under 14 billion years ago, when the entire cosmos was contained inside a tiny, dense, unimaginable hot bubble, which suddenly exploded, distributing atoms everywhere. These minute particles grew and continued growing at an astonishing rate to form the universe we see today, and that there was nothing before this event. That is of course a very simplified description of one theory on how the universe came to existence, a theory called the Big Bang, which there is still a lot of unexplained questions surrounding. But a relatively new theory has emerged that is heavily supported by Nikodem Poplowski, a theoretical physicist from Poland, and he is the real deal, being voted by Forbes as one of the most likely scientists to become the next Einstein. He suggests that perhaps there was something before the Big Bang, and that something was possibly a section of a mother universe that physicists can only describe as a seed. This seed then got sucked into a black hole and was compressed into an unimaginable state and could no longer be crushed any further. This combined with the supposed spin inside a black hole caused the seed to explode and form the universe. In a nutshell, this theory suggests that our universe is nestled inside a black hole and is the product of a much larger mother universe that in addition to ours has spawned many others similar to our own. 
What this does potentially mean, if this is true, which although an interesting theory, there is no substantial evidence to support it, that every black hole in our universe could contain other universes. Nothing. Simply put, we will probably never have the technology to see beyond the observable universe. So unless the universe's age is incorrect, which it very well might be, there is never going to be a way to see outside the universe or figure out what area it's expanding into. But what if there is nothing beyond what we can see, and the universe is expanding into an empty void of nothingness? Another way of looking at it is that what we can see is all there is to see, meaning scientists are looking and speculating about something that does not exist. The universe is the universe, it has no edge, no end, no infinity, it is what it is. At the moment, with no proof of any of the other theories, this is actually a logical explanation. Now going back to the universe being a sphere, where there is no end and you would go around in a big loop, you can't help but wonder what is outside of that loop, and since there is no such thing as nothing, then just what exactly is that nothingness surrounding it? It's questions like this that Stephen Hawking has said there's no answer to. It's simply just beyond human understanding. Dark Flow The relatively recent discovery of a phenomenon called Dark Flow has led to scientists questioning whether a force beyond the observable universe is responsible. Before this discovery, astronomers believed that space was expanding in a uniform manner, all at the same rate. But with the revelation of Dark Flow, this theory has been questioned. Dark flow is the movement of galactic clusters travelling at millions of miles an hour that are being drawn towards the same patch of sky in a uniform manner. The area these clusters are being drawn to does not seem to add up with anything inside the observable universe, meaning it seems the dark flow is caused by a large structure beyond the observable universe that is exerting a gravitational pull that is drawing it closer. Alexander Kashlinsky, a NASA cosmologist and astronomer, said this about it. The structures responsible for this notion have been pushed so far by inflation, I would guesstimate that they may be hundreds of billions of light years away, that we cannot see even with the deepest telescopes because the light emitted there could not have reached us in the age of the universe. Most likely to create such a coherent flow, they would have to be some very strange structures, maybe some warped space-time, but this is just pure speculation. Okay, so what if it's just a black hole outside the observable universe? NASA disagree, stating a black hole would cause the galactic cluster's speed to increase as it got nearer to the hole. Instead, the clusters are being tugged in a consistent motion, so this cannot be the case. Richard Holman, professor at Carnegie Mellon University, has predicted that this dark flow could be caused by the pull from another universe outside of what we can observe. This puts more credibility to the theory that what lies beyond the observable universe is another universe itself, with the potential of supporting life. So let's talk about that. The Multiverse One of the most interesting theories, our universe is just one of many universes. This is similar to the first theory of a never-ending expanse of space, but instead of say one infinite map, the multiverse suggests that there would be an end point to our universe and then a starting point to the next, just like bubbles floating around, each containing universes. This theory states that we are just one of many universes that exist next to each other. Because our cosmic vision is limited by the speed of light, you know that we cannot observe any further than around 14 billion light years. So even if there was a parallel universe next to ours, it would be virtually impossible to see, even if we knew for certain that it was definitely there. If this theory were true, and these other universe bubbles are expanding at the same rate as ours, they would be getting further and further away. However, some have theorised, like I said earlier, going into a black hole could take you to another one of these bubbles. The universe is expanding, we know that as almost a matter of fact, but what it's expanding into, or what it is revealing, is an impossible question. Is there a point where there is nothing? If not, then how far does it go? Does it just keep going to infinity? Is the universe curved? If so, what is outside of the curve? What is the universe surrounded by? For the time being, this all remains a complete and utter mystery. For me, when you think about questions like that, it puts things on Earth into perspective. When you think and try to understand the mind-blowing proportions and rationality of the universe and everything we are surrounded by, and a lot of problems that we think are problems are put into perspective and don't seem such a big deal. Before I end this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to Wasilia for putting together this awesome Top 5's Domino Tribute. 
It's an honor and he is a true artist. So go over to his channel, give him some love and check out some of his other awesome domino projects. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.